Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, another recipe for you today. Um, this is kind of a spaghetti dish. Um, so we're looking at making a kind of our own pesto and then using our low protein spaghetti. Um, you can add, you can do this hot or cold. So it's great for um, a pasta salad. Um, you don't have to use the spaghetti. You can use any of our shaped low protein pasta. Um, I've just done spaghetti today and Ty likes this cold, but again, he likes it just equally as hot. So I thought I'd show you how we're gonna kind of make that pesto. So we've got 35 grams of spinach leaves. So that goes in, I'm using a processor, but you can use a handheld um, blender if you want to do this as well. Um, I'm gonna put a teaspoonful of garlic um, puree in, but again, you can use clove of garlic or two cloves of garlic, it's completely down to you. Um, and then I've got 75 grams of um, char grilled artichokes. These are the ones in the jar. Um, so I'm gonna put this in, this artichokes, um, turn the pesto really creamy. So we don't need to add lots of cheese in this, which is, Great, even though we're gonna put some Parmesan in as well. Um, and I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of the oil as well. So then I've got a bunch of um, basil, but you can use um, dried basil or you can add any other herbs that you want to this. Parsley works really good with this. Um, so does thyme, but kind of classic is the um, basil. So let's give that a... Let's so let's give that a little scrape down halfway through. And then I've got 25 grams of low protein um, Parmesan cheese, which I'm gonna sprinkle in. And then just to emulsify that, I'm just gonna add a tablespoonful of cold water, which will just help bring that round. Normally put a lot of olive oil in this one, but kind of looking at a more healthy eating for January. And you can do this as smooth or as chunky as you kind of want. Um, I quite like this, just that little bit chunky. But if you want to do it smoother, just add some more water and then you can um, process that. So let's pour this into our little dish. Let's just get rid of that. And this makes quite a good portion of the pesto. So you can keep this in the fridge or it freezes really, really well. So it's one of them things that if you're gonna make it, you can make it and then stash them in the freezer, bring it out. It's great with um, the low profit rice as well, stirred through for a salad. Um, you can put this with crackers as a dip. You can also mix this with some low protein cream cheese, again, as like um, a pate. So it gives you another kind of option of bits to do. Let's get all that in there. And then I've just got some um, pasta that I've cooked. So I'm just gonna pop that in my bowl. Again, if you're doing this as salad, you can mix a lot of this together. Again, you can cook your pasta ahead of time, as you know. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of the Pesto to that, and then let's get a fork and give that a good stir around. Ty kind of calls this green pasta because it's got them flecks through. Again, if you want to add some chunks of cheese to this or some um, roasted mushrooms, you can do. Again, this will sit in the fridge for a few days in an airtight tub so you can Put it, pop it into um, lunchbox for school. Keeps really well. Smells amazing with the basil, the garlic. So I'm just gonna add a little touch of pepper to that. And a little sprinkling of salt. 
and then let's put that on our plate. So there you've got your low profin spaghetti with your spinach and basil pesto. Great recipe, hot or cold, lunch boxes or an evening meal. Um, give that a go. Let me know how you get on. All the recipes, as always, are on Low Protein Connect. Um, if you need me to answer any of your questions, just leave a comment under the video and we can get back to you. If not, enjoy that. And I'll see you next time back in the kitchen. Bye.